I am Denis Roncourt. I'm a physicist, I'm an environmental scientist, and I'm a researcher with the Ontario Civil Liberties Association. And I just want to tell you that I just released a report which I made for the Civil Liberties Association uh, today, and it's entitled uh, Criticism of Government Response to COVID-19 in Canada. And this, in this report, I review the scientific literature that should be the basis for policy, uh, social policy regarding COVID-19. And if I were to say the conclusion of the report in one sentence, it would be the following. The latest research implies that the government interventions to flatten the curve, in quotations, risks causing significant additional cumulative or total COVID-19 deaths and illness due to seasonal driving. You know, the, the origin of this is seasonal driving of transmissibility and delayed societal immunity that comes from the flattening. So this is a review of the scientific literature up to this day, and it has four major uh, sections in this review, in this document. The first is entitled, Absence of an Evidentiary Basis to Support General Population Lockdown. And basically what I say there is, this has never been tried before, this has never been practiced, to have a general population lockdown in response to a an epidemic uh, is not something that's tested uh, and that therefore would have field work that allows you to say whether or not it worked and so on. Uh, so it's an experiment. The second section, and, and I show, I, I review the science that comes closest to these kinds of uh, attempted mediation methods and show that they are not able to help us, to guide us in this, in this new uh, way of functioning. Uh, the second section is entitled Scientific Expert Reports Show Us That Lockdown, get this, causes significantly more total deaths and illness of co from directly from COVID-19. And this is for two reasons. One is if you try to flatten the curve, you're, you're delaying immunity, you're spreading out, you're extending, you're delaying the natural immunity that would come about. And there will, as soon as you stop the lockdown, there will be a second wave pretty close to immediately or in the next uh, active season of, of uh, contagion. So there's going to be a second wave and the calculations, um, a paper just came out in science, the calculations show that the second wave is actually stronger, more intense, causes more deaths than the first wave. Um, it, 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 and, and so it would have been better to do nothing. Um, the third section of the paper is entitled um, that the justification for the early panic response of, of nations is not corroborated. And what this does is it reviews all of the scientific literature that shows that um, the disease uh, and the virus is not as virulent as first thought based on the people that were uh, dying in hospital and so on. So there's a, a, a number of papers now that estimate the virulence and show that it's quite low in fact and you only die if you have comorbidity conditions and you're over 65 and into the 80s. Um, also, they show that this is not a particularly contagious disease compared to regular influenza and flu-like diseases. I mean, influenza is a very contagious thing. It spreads like crazy. Well, this is, this is that kind of thing. It's spread by aerosol particles uh, in the air that under dry conditions are uh, supported in the air and do not gravitationally uh, be, get taken out until it gets more humid, until the season changes. So those kinds of diseases are generally very contagious if, if, if they are such that when they get into your lungs, they, they will, there will be a, a minimal dose that will cause you to be ill. And that is the case for this disease, but it's not any uh, worse than an aggressive seasonal uh, influenza. The fourth part of my report is uh, entitled that the faith in epidemic modeling of catastrophe scenarios and mitigation strategies is not justified. These models are, most of them that have been applied and the ones that have been used by the government are, I would say, completely wrong. And the reason, the main 
nexus of what's wrong with them is that they don't consider that the reproduction number R0 is actually something that depends very sensitively on absolute humidity of the atmosphere. And so it, that means that even within the season of infection, the R0 can change fourfold in, in magnitude. And the models just aren't taking that. They're taking a very simplistic and incorrect approach, which is to use a constant R0. So the models are wrong. And uh, in, in addition to everything else, so some people have been modeling correctly and have not been overextending uh, the use of their models. Uh, and I review that work and I review the latest uh, science article that uh, includes and acknowledges and builds into the model that the R0 is actually seasonally driven and looks at the consequences of that. And the consequences are dire in the sense that you will, if you practice lockdowns, in the great majority of scenarios, end up with more death and more illness. That's, that's the reason that I wrote this report. This is what the um, cover page of that report looks like. It was prepared for the Ontario uh, Civil Liberties Association. And I'm hoping that you'll take a look at it and that it will be useful to you.